Hello everyone. Welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to tell you that how can we create a world cloud solution with our programming. So first of all, let's understand what exactly world cloud is and how it is useful or how it is beneficial for an organization. Word cloud is basically it's a text mining technique which is used for visual representation of the text document. So we have got a text file and in that text file we have got uh, lots of words or thousands of millions of words would be there. So I would like to find out that a specific word or the words has been appeared in that particular file how many times or how many times the specific word has been repeated. And they are very popular because they help us easily spot the most frequently occurring word. And word clouds are used for the visual representation of a text document. So the word which is appears more frequently, it will be displayed in larger and the bolder. So here is an example. Here is an demonstrate means here is a image I have displayed here. You can see here these are the words like data, learning graphs, statistical, algorithm, machine. All these are words are available in the file, but the most often word used is the data, statistical, statistical and learning because they appears, they occurred uh, number of times and number of times. So, uh, so the in the sequential order of their occurrence, the text for the text will be bolded or the become larger or smaller. Now the question comes that why should we use the word cloud? So the answer is first of all they are easy to understand the word clouds are most visually appealing than the table of the data and hence they are easier to understand and uh, they are very easy to share how they are very easy to share. So let's suppose you want to share with your boss. So the top product reviews that were driving the sale of your company. So all we need to do is we need to send uh, we need to run a query. We need to extract the word cloud by the email. So we run a query on that data and whenever the word cloud is generated, we just share that image with the with a uh, with the sales manager or with the leader and he will be knowing by using this word cloud that this particular sale or this particular product has been reviewed uh, multiple number of times. And have word clouds in the shape of your choice. We can present the word cloud in our shape, like in in rectangular format, in triangular format, or any other format. It, it's so with the help of coding, we can create the shape cloud. We can transform the shape cloud as required. And the most important of all, they are very easy to create. So we can use any open source tools like R to or any other tool like Python. We can use any or any of the tool to visualize the text in in the by using the word cloud. Now where are they often use it where the where we often use this word cloud. So in marketing in quantitative research in Twitter or sometimes in the politicians and the journalists they also use it and the word clouds can also be used to evaluate the brand identity optimize blogs and marketing content for search engines and research the competitors SEO strategy. So that's about the word cloud. So now let's have a look. How can we create a word cloud? So to demonstrate the word cloud, I have prepared one text file. So you can see here in our temp folder, I have placed a sample.txt file and this sample.txt file, this contains some data. So you can see this contains the data. It has got a huge number of data and I would like to find out. I would like to present that which word has been frequently used in this particular file and uh, we should present this by using the word cloud by using R programming. So let's start building the word cloud in R programming. So I'm going to use the uh, R studio for the same and the library which we need to work on word cloud is first of all we need to install the library the package name as a TM. So I have already installed that package and I set library as TM. 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 And I run it. 
another library I need is the word cloud so I have already installed that as well so I write library and word cloud we need this library as well the next command will be we need to load the data source we need to load all the files from a from a specific folder into a lords directory so I create here lords object lords and here I write corpus directory source and uh, all of my files now we can have multiple number of files but right now I have got only same uh, I have got only one file and named as a sample so I simple write it here d colon tamp and so it will load all the directories from that particular tamp folder into this lo lots so when I run it if I execute this command you can see uh, it should be corpus not core part uh, I sorry I and now if I write here inspect lots so you can see here there is only one document and there are these number of characters so there are around 1 lakh 54,397 characters will be there in this particular document then I pass commands here I need to filter the data now so I pass here lots and tm underscore map lots comma strip white space then uh, I'll copy the same and tm underscore lords and what all the I want I want to strip them to lower to lower then I want to remove a word from this lords file so I use here remove word remove words and which word I want to remove so I want to remove the stop word which one and the word will be English so I want to remove it English. then stem document stem document and one more command it should be I want to convert it into a plain text document so plain text document so I execute all of them I run all of them there is no error and now uh, the actual implementation of the word cloud so for this we have a function here word cloud so this word cloud basically needs parameters so the first of all we want to load the data from the lots then uh, I need to set the scale as well I set here scale is equal to C 2 from 2 to 0 0.5 uh, so it's a scale then how many maximum number of words uh, we can I want to in, in, uh, display it by using this word clause so the maximum number of word it should display only 100 then I set the random order is equal to I set it to false false then uh, rotation dot is equal to 0 0.55 this is the rotation parameter that uh, we want to rotate the words in uh, how much degree and then user dot r dot layout is equal to false and at last I said the color is equal to color is equal to we can specify a single color as well for example I specify a black color and now if I execute it if I run this let's test it when I run it So there was so it's working fine now and you can see the word has been placed so it has been placed in this sequence and now from here we'll find out that this will noble government they are they have been occurred frequently in that particular file and but they appears in the same color in the black color so instead of using the same black color we can specify the colors as well so for here I use brewer dot pearl and I set the color as 8 and dark too and now let's test it again so I just execute it again and you can see they will be placed in different colors so that's how we can create a word cloud and we can represent the most frequent words 
by using this word cloud. So that's all in this video. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bispetrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on R. You can contact to us for the customized training on R for data visualization. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.